Welcome to Collegeville, Minnesota, to the construction sites of the new Abbey Wood Shop, future home of St. John's Abbey Woodworking and St. John's Abbey Organ Builders. I'm Father Lou Groby. I'll be the tour guide today on the progress that we've made over the past few months on the inside of the building. If you've been following for the last eight months, you've seen the construction from the live cam. And now we want to invite you inside to actually see the progress and what's left to do before our dedication this October. So welcome. Come on in. So when you first walk into the space, it seems like a large open parking garage, but a lot of work has been done in here. We've poured the finished slab concrete here, so our flooring is complete. If you look up to the ceiling then, uh, the concrete was actually poured into these uh, special forms that also have insulation in them, which helps with sound transfer for when a lot of machines are working in the future, but also with the heating and cooling transfer between the floors. Outside, you can see that they've already gone ahead. They've done the spray foam and they've painted the steel structure in the places that will be exposed. To come in the near future is the uh, hanging of the HVAC, the ducting, to follow by lights and the typical things that go with construction. The unique thing about a facility that houses two enterprises is that you have places that are going to be shared by both, like the millwork space here, mostly for the woodworking machinery and all that goes with that. But then you'll start to see that the steel framing is starting to make other rooms. And this room will be unique to organ building and the fact that this is the assembly room where the organ will actually be assembled. It's 38 feet tall, has a clear story at the top, and then it also has a one-ton crane to be able to lift the different components into space. And now we'll move on to something that you don't typically see because a parking lot will be over it. In the coming days they'll be putting the dirt back on this but for now you can see the exposed tunnel that will eventually be underground which will bring the utilities from campus into our shop. All they need to do is pour that topping slab and then it'll be coming in and we'll be able to be connected to the rest of the utilities on campus. As we move from the mill space into the lumber shed and also the paint shop, the scaffolding shows where the future elevator in the shop will be so that guests and also machinery can go up and down between the two floors in this building. And then as we move on, we come into where we'll have everything under one building now, the paint shop, and then also where we'll store our lumber after it's been dried in the, our own kiln. And this will be able to house a good amount of lumber, not as much as our old lumber shed, but we're very happy with how it's coming together. Welcome to the second floor. You'll see that there's a lot more of the steel studs already in place. And what you'll see here on this end is we have the rooms for the Abbey artists. The first time that they'll have a place where they can do their art that's actually been built for them. The rest of this second floor in this area will be storage. One thing we also haven't had in our history as Abbey Woodworking, to be able to store furniture uh, for future clients to be able to buy on demand. And then as we move forward, you can see that the HVAC system has made its way up. Uh, also the piping for the heating and cooling is in place. As we move to this part of the second floor, you'll see that the spaces are fairly well defined. We have our voicing studio, the organ library, an office, the all-important break room, small projects, the pipe room, a clean room with a laser, and finally the ferrous metals room in the corner. So here we are in the basement and this is where those utilities come in to the building. A lot of things that will not be seen by anybody but it has a beauty of its own about how it all comes together, those ducting, the pipes, the air handling unit the electricity all into this space. So here we are, not connected to the building, but one of the more important aspects of the woodworking process is that the trees from our own forests, having dried outside for the last three years, are ready to go inside the kiln, which is just about to be completed this week. Follow me. Tomorrow they'll finish up with the insulation on the inside of the kiln, and then we'll be able to go ahead and fire this up drying our wood to its moisture content level that's good for here in Minnesota. 
and saving our backs of not having to load this by hand, but by a forklift. So we're very excited. Well, thank you for staying with us to the end of this tour. We hope you enjoyed it. And here's just a brief look of what we have to look forward to in the future with a completed corner of the Abbey Wood Shop. We look forward to having you join us here in Collegeville in the near future to see this unique facility for yourself. Until then, peace.